Welcome back to the NRA Whittington Center in Raton, New Mexico, and the King of Two Miles, presented by Burger Bullets. Our next shooter is Bill Carlton. A competition like this is very difficult, so we asked the entire team of Bill Carlton, how do you prepare for King of the Two Mile? I came out here last year and shot King of the Two Miles, placed 10th, uh, and still at it again, and, and we're, we're going to continue. I've got an awesome team, and we're developing it and, and their skills as well as mine, and uh, we're going we're gonna to get there. Definitely. This isn't something you learn overnight. There is a whole lot of pressure with it because if the environmentals and everything that you input into the data stuff, if it's not correct, you're not going to be there. You just watch what's around you, then you have to talk him into it. Five mile an hour wind, half MOA hold left. It's blowing from the left. You know, you, you've got to, you've got to give him directions to turn into his scope to dial in what they call the dope. Well, they're ready to go right here, Paul. You see Bill preparing right there for his first shot on target number one. Yeah, the first thing I notice here is one of his spotters using a pair of binos. Um, that's not really that stable. Oh, an entire miss. He went completely over the dirt berm you see right there. Yeah, his elevation zeroes off. It's very important when you come to this competition to get a 100 yards zero, maybe the day before. And then you can program in your ballistics. You really have to know your ballistics and your zeros here. Look at the recoil that rifle has right there as you saw the scope. Well, at least he got it down in the dirt this time. If you noticed on the split screen, on the top left screen, it showed the impact off to the left. The bottom screen on the right hand side showed the impact off to the right. That's just a camera angle. The actual shot was off to the left. Like that shot right there, almost the same place. Yeah, they actually hit the same spot two times in a row. They need to make an adjustment here. Well, we saw the spotter giving some instructions. He's making some adjustments right now. Only two shots remaining. Look at the concentration these shooters have to have. Oh, completely over the dirt berm again. That's telling me that He's having some elevation issues here. It could be the load. It could be his position. We're just not sure until we get more shots here, but um, he's having some position issues. I think. Same hold. Same hold. Last shot. No, he missed again, but at least he's down in the dirt. Yeah, he was nearing it in. They were all off to the left and up high. Those guys are going to have to go back to the drawing board and do some more practicing. You had to dial back down to the proper elevation, and I was dancing all around the target. I just I couldn't get on it. This is a very unique competition they have out there in New Mexico every year, so we caught up with the match director to find out how did King of Two Miles start? We started the King of Two Miles as a way of learning how much the actual uh, state of the art in rifle technology could do to find out if we actually could do those things that we could see on YouTube videos. Right now, we have a limitation of 50 teams and we fill it up in about an hour. Most of the guys that were not right there in the internet waiting for the, the release of the registration, uh, they didn't make it. It filled up in an hour. It's been a, a super, super uh, successful event and uh, it's because of the shooters. They are excited, they want to learn more, they want to practice. They want to develop new technologies, and all the manufacturers are here because they want to be part of it. We'll take a short break right now. When we continue, we'll meet our next shooter, Dan Polabel, as we continue with King of Two Miles, presented by Burger Bullets.